Scott Bumgarner fell into our laps five years ago and it was a true blessing to have him come to our campus. And I think two things stand out for me about Scott. Number one, he has this unbelievable passion for women in sports, both personally and professionally. He has great encouragement for women to take leadership roles. Um, his wife's that great example, but he does that in his own life, his personal life, his professional life. Um, and the second thing that stands out for me about Scott is that he's all about relationships and relationships are the most important thing to him as an educator. And he knows that in order for him to be successful in the classroom or coaching, he has to develop those relationships. One of those relationships that really stands out for me about Scott is he had a golfer on his team who did not have the same advantages as some of the other golfers. And um, Scott knew this, Scott knew that this girl had a passion for the sport, but didn't have some of the means that the other kids had. And so um, in true like Brothers of Holy Cross fashion, he took it upon himself to make sure that he got some equipment for her and was able to get that to her and got her some lessons and got her some ways to have some similar advantages to the other, other players on the teams, all without recognition or anything. He just, uh, he knew this girl had a passion and wanted to make sure that she could succeed in her sport. And um, it's one of my favorite things about Scott is he just, he works really hard behind the scenes to take care of his kids, treats them all uh, with respect and treats them individually, which is love and compassion. Um, is truly gonna be missed on our campus. So Scott, I wish you and Renee the best of luck. I'm jealous. Uh, I love Bend, Oregon, and I'm excited for you guys to uh, get closer to family and get closer to your relatives and uh, excited for your life to hopefully slow down a little bit. And so wish you and Renee the best of luck up in, up in Bend next year. Uh, I know I speak for the entire math department uh, when I say Scott will be sorely missed. Uh, he's made such a big impact in a short amount of time. Uh, it seems like he's been here for much longer. Uh, he's been a great colleague, department member, uh, but most importantly, he's been a great teacher to our students. Um, everything he does is to support the students. Uh, every conversation is supportive, um, and he really wants what's best for everyone in his classroom. Uh, personally, I'll miss our outside table lunches. I've really enjoyed getting to hear about Scott's family, uh, getting to eat the delicious jerky he brings in, uh, and of course, hearing about his fanatical obsession with Oregon State baseball. Scott, really wish you the best. I hope that you enjoy uh, your family, enjoy your time in Oregon, uh, and I hope we see you come down for some Santa Clara basketball games. Uh, we can touch base again. You know, when I think about uh, everything that all of us have been through this past year and add a battle with cancer to that, add a band director leaving in the middle of the year, um, I, I would be hard pressed to think of anybody else that could have not only coped with the situation but excelled uh, other than Margaret Durando. Um, she's just a yes person. Um, always always passionate about her music, teaching music to her students, um, her courage, and just her, her ideal expectation uh, and the passion that she has for what she's doing. When I think of Margaret Durando, um, I think of her uh, incredible vision for our students and for our music program and for our school. Um, over the years, Margaret has created so many programs and so many opportunities for our students to perform, um, to share their talents with our whole school community. Um, I remember way back in the day, you know, when we started with the chamber choir, and then over the years, Margaret um, pioneered uh, the band and choir um, ensemble for, uh, you know, for school liturgies, um, many a cappella groups, the strings uh, ensemble, glee club. Um, Whenever a student asked to, to add some program or to have some opportunity to perform, Margaret was there to go ahead and lead that and to do all the work, both behind the scenes as well as in the spotlight, to make sure that it happened. I could never thank Margaret enough, uh, personally, for what what she's done, you know, for our community uh, or for me. But but I, you know, most importantly, I I, I hope that that as she goes, um, I hope she knows how many wonderful memories. Uh, of just spectacular musical performances uh, that I have in my heart, and I know if I do, uh, so many in our community share that same feeling uh, of thanks.
really have enjoyed uh, working with you over the years. Uh, and if there was one moment that I have to pick out, um, I, I can fondly remember the gym during school liturgies. We've got 2,000 people in that gym and just that, the, the silence and the, everyone mesmerized by, um, by you and our students singing um, during Mass. And those are special moments that I always cherish. Thank you for everything that you've done for our students, uh, for me, especially when I was in activities uh, and for our school. You'll be deeply missed, uh, but you're loved and, uh, and you're in our thoughts and our prayers. When I first started here and Patty was very adamant that I was going to do the yearbook, uh, I had no idea what I was getting into and I was so lucky that Olivia was the person that I got to work with. She really has a skill with our yearbook kids who sometimes are sort of like, uh, you know, looking for a home. Um, she really is good at not only making them comfortable, but over the course of four years, making them into extremely cool and like chatty um, adult people. Um, she is able to draw them out like nobody else really can. As far as great memories with Olivia, uh, probably top tier is my wedding. Um, she was a riot on the dance floor uh, with her husband Vince and a lot of people were like, your grandma is so fun. Um, and I was like, not my grandma, just like my best friend at work, it's fine. <laughs> totally normal age gap. Um, when I think about Olivia, uh, I think about the first time we met. Uh, it was in the summer and I was working in the work grant program and she was in the library and I introduced myself to her. Um, when I realized that she had the same name as my daughter, uh, we quickly sparked a friendship and one that I didn't realize I was gonna miss so much. Um, Olivia, thank you for all your stories about your time here at St. Francis. Uh, thank you for having my back uh, when we were battling students to pick up their trash during lunch. But most of all, thank you for your friendship. Um, I look forward to your next chapter in your journey. I'm excited for what lies ahead. Thank you so much and God bless. Uh, her loss is gonna be acutely felt. I will miss her terribly and so will our yearbook kids. Um, and I just love her. Thanks, Olivia. <laughs>
I think the school is going to miss uh, Tom's dedication. I think they'll, they'll miss his, his tireless work ethic. Uh, he's one of those people who's been behind the scenes for many, many years, uh, but has really been a, a great asset uh, to St. Francis High School. I will personally miss Tom uh, because Tom has been my best friend since I was five years old. Uh, and uh, a lot of people don't know that, but uh, I think it's going to be uh, very hard for me personally just not to be able to see him around the campus. Uh, but in the future, uh, Tom is about to get married and uh, wish uh, Tom and uh, his fiance Liz uh, a lot of joy and happiness in the future and uh, some great new adventures in their retirement. I don't want to throw Simon under the bus on this, but the, he never warned me about Sophia uh, when I started this job. Um, he, might, he might have said something about, hey, Sophia, but uh, that was in no way preparation for the hurricane that is Sophia when she comes into the office on a mission. Uh, when I think about Sophia, it's, it's strength and perfection. Just there's no way to match Sophia's energy. Um, so what I've done is just kind of go with the flow. And, and what I've gained in that is becoming better at my job and a better person in general. Uh, Sophia is somebody that expects perfection, uh, demanding it from her students uh, and, and really counting on everybody around her to share her ideal uh, of that perfect outcome for the students. Um, you know, whether it be growing the International Showcase to, to the premier event uh, in student activities, uh, or the many, many senior balls that she's uh, supervised and overseen over the past many years. Um, they, they never had to worry. I never had to worry they were gonna be, be perfect events for our students. It's always the uh, educator. Sophia has taught me uh, what it means to be a better leader, to have energy uh, and passion for, for a job well done, uh, to pay attention to the details so that any event is, that's put on is a successful event for our students. Sophia, I, I, this is probably weird, but I, I'm gonna miss you a ton. I just, you know, when you, when you, when you come in and you're, you have something to do, I know it means more work for me, but I actually truly am going to miss uh, having you stop by the office and uh, remind me of what it is that, that I need to get done. Uh, so, I'm, I'll be happy in knowing that uh, you're off somewhere helping somebody else be, be better. When I think of Sophia Blanc, I think of all of her contributions to this community. In my mind, Sophia is what I would call a true Renaissance woman. She contributed over her time here in every aspect. She's passionate about the arts, she's passionate about literature and culture and dance and travel and reading and all of these things. And the truth is, you can't say that you educate students in this way unless you have educators that are like that too. Now, selfishly, when she's gone from here, I know that's gonna be really hard for this community, but for me, as one of my best friends, she is one of the most fun people I know, and I look forward to having her join our retirement club. And Sophia, I know that you don't like all of this fanfare, but I have to tell you, I am so excited for you. I am so excited for the next aspect of your life, and I wish you the best in everything that you've talked about doing. Well, Deb, this day is a long time coming. I've been waiting for you to do it for eight years, so it's nice to know that you're finally getting to your retirement. We have so many memories together in the main office, too many to recount, but a couple that I think you will remember fondly is when we had to turn the back room into a first aid room for Ace when he cut his finger almost off, and then all the times that we had to pass out Kleenex to not only students and parents, but also faculty and staff. It was a wonderful place to work and only because you were there. 
you will be sorely missed. I know for sure. But I, for one, am very grateful that you will still be in my life and you will always be my BFF. Love you, Deb. It's truly hard for me to put into words what Debbie Gonzalez has meant to me and to St. Francis High School. So the best I can do is say that she's the model of a Holy Cross woman. She embodies all the love, and the compassion, and the hope that the brothers entrusted to us as Holy Cross people. Debbie has walked by my side for all my years as an administrator at St. Francis, and we journeyed together through some great times and some sad times, but she was always there for me with a listening ear, with an open heart, with a ready hand. I honestly do not know how I could have done my job without her. If a phone call came in or someone came up to the front desk and no one was there, she'd leap out of her desk to greet the person or to calm the parent or turn around and put a bandage on a student's finger. And then she'd walk back to her desk and finish working on graduation. In fact, I think the only two jobs I can ever remember her not wanting to do is stuff the mailboxes in the brother's house because no one would ever empty their mailboxes, or when she was working on the archival student files up in the brother's house. It wasn't the student files that bothered her, it was all the rats. But you know, the one thing I think we didn't recognize, or some of us didn't, is the connection she had with the brothers that kept us connected from St. Francis to Holy Cross Brothers. When they were here on campus, she supported them with all their projects. And then, when they moved off campus, um, she continued that connection with birthday wishes, emails, and phone calls. So we always knew what the brothers were doing, and they always knew that we cared about them. But for me, I guess, the most important thing was that she was my friend, and she was a friend to so many of you. And I really know that St. Francis is going to miss her. But Debbie, I wish you the best of luck and congratulations. You'll finally have time to spend with those children and grandchildren of yours and your husband Mario. So good luck and congratulations. I am so excited to uh, be talking about Sherry Tasnati, uh, a absolutely wonderful friend. I just love her. 38 years. I just didn't realize how long it had been. Congratulations on your retirement, Taz. It's been quite a daunting task to come up with what to say about you. You've done so many extraordinary things. Um, I've known you for 22 years, but it was during the 12 years in counseling when I had a front row seat, like right outside your office where my desk was, that I could see that what mattered most to you was the students. You consistently had each student's best interests at heart and you stood by many during a tough time. And all the while you were approachable, knowledgeable, and compassionate. You gave it your full effort and then some. The thing that stands out to me most about Sherry is her absolute unbending devotion to her counselees, and before that her students, but um, she is just dedicated beyond belief to those kids and uh, I have had chances to be with her in the counseling situation with one of my students and her level of professionalism and her empathy and uh, just she cares just a tremendous amount. I often felt the depth of how much you cared for your colleagues and we all appreciated your sense of humor. I uh, feel like I'm speaking for Sally as well and she especially loved the way you could make her laugh. I remember the time the University of Delaware college rep came and he was talking about how the pre-veterinary students were given a cow to take care of for four years. Of course, I laughed at that, but I could see your mind churning and thinking, what student wants to be a vet? What's, who's a good match for this school? And I have to tell the other counselors about that. And you weren't just like that about schools. You were, you were like that about everything, any opportunity, resource, program, anything that would benefit uh, high school students, teenagers. You, you knew everything. In fact, in the world of high school counseling, if your name came up, people would say, oh yeah, she's a guru, she's a walking encyclopedia. Basically, you're a legend, Taz, and I hope you never forget the impact you've had on the lives of countless people. You've lived by an exceptional set of values. You're a true Holy Cross educator, and you will leave an indelible mark. So Sherry, 38 years is a long time, and I've been proud to know you for that long, and your, your career here has just been uh, exemplary in, in every respect, and uh, I love you, and uh, I hope to see you down the road.
When I think about Tim Houlihan, I think about all the hats that he's worn at the school. He uh, started as a math teacher and then a coach, and then he has been uh, done a directorship five different times, including facilities, which is the last one that he did. In addition to also uh, being involved in all the construction that we've been doing. Uh, oh, I forgot my favorite hat, and that's as a bus driver. Mary Ellen said that he was a pretty good bus driver. So he always attacked everything with the, the most effort and uh, compassion and energy. He was also just incredibly organized. Uh, the only thing I would think kind of funny is a little bit is sometimes the Irish in him comes out. But uh, I want to thank, on a personal note, I want to thank Tim for all he's done for grooming Rob. And I want to congratulate him on his retirement and also say that no more has to wear Tim except for a golf cap. In my opinion, Tim is kind of an unsung hero at St. Francis High School. He's the guy who's always willing to work behind the scenes, share his great ideas, and then carry out whatever the ultimate decision is. He has been spectacular that way for many, many, many years. I know in the days that I was working here and there was a critical decision that had to be made, I always sought out Tim Houlihan's advice because you know He's not just professional, he's a man of great integrity, and I always respected his opinions. Tim was instrumental in helping me get the Holy Cross Achievers program off the ground. Tim's passion and belief for that program and his hands-on efforts to make sure that it was successful will always be reminded, I will always remember that. Tim is a Holy Cross man, and he always felt that no matter what someone's background is, they deserve an opportunity to be successful at St. Francis. Tim, I wish you the very best of luck as you move forward in your career. I know you're not quite done here, but I hope that retirement brings you great joy and especially more time with your family. Please don't drive your wife Stephanie crazy by being around too much but I know that your great kids, Matt and Kelsey and Brian, they're gonna love having you around because free babysitting. Tim, thank you for all you did for me and especially for St. Francis High School. Sal's a religious studies teacher. This is where he shines. He lives for the classroom. He loves to go ahead and transform students' lives. And I've never seen a teacher prep more than Sal would. And I would joke with him, i go, Sal, the Gospels haven't changed in 2,000 years. Why do you need to prep so much? He said, because today is this kid's first time. And he always, always, always wanted to find a way to have students be successful. He always wanted to go ahead and inspire kids to take the story of Jesus' values and turn it into the story of their lives. So I had the great fortune of being taught by Sal Chavez and um, the greater fortune of my oldest son also having him as a teacher. So when Liam would come home and tell me stories that Sal was telling him in class, I was reminded of really what a phenomenal storyteller Sal Chavez is. And in that way, I think he has embodied who we are as Holy Cross, um, because um, in my mind, um, our tradition lives through its stories. So Sal, in sharing his life and his experience, brought what we were learning in class um, to life for all of us. Um, and I think it really did um, emphasize that our learning is about our relationships with each other. And so he has reminded us, I think, that um, you know, building a Holy Cross foundation is building relationships that happens through the stories that he has been telling us, the stories that he tells us. So for that, I am very, very grateful to Sal Chavez for everything he has taught this community, for everything he has, he has given to this community, for what he has given to my family, 
and for the life that he has shared not only here at St. Francis but in um, all of Holy Cross across the country. He certainly has earned the, the, the opportunity he has now in retirement to spend with his family and to, to um, go on these planned adventures that he has. So um, I'm looking forward to hearing of his future stories that he is going to build um, from this point forward. And I think also if ever there's a Mount Rushmore for the mission of Holy Cross, Sal will certainly be one of the first people on there. So Sal, congratulations on 43 years of service to St. Francis High School, service to the Brothers of the Holy Cross. I know that they are smiling and they are just as happy as we are that you've graced us with your presence, you've graced us with uh, your gifts, and we thank you so much for sharing them with us and setting a tone and a very, very high bar for us to continue as we move forward. Thank you, Sal. So we love you, Sal. Thank you for your, your time here and best of luck in, in your retirement.